All right, so today's video, this is going to be right after what the National Guard is like. Um, this is going to be how to balance your life basically around everything. Now, I recently got married. Uh, I've been living with my um, wife uh, for a year now, but I recently got married. We plan on getting married. Things got moved around because of the whole uh, pandemic and crap. Um, and we've, we've known we were going to be married for a while. We've been together for four years. Um, Basically, I've been with her since high school uh, in there and then uh, got into college and got into um, got into my jobs, military and all that. So here's the uh, number one thing I'm going to suggest you find a woman who is willing to help you through anything. I mean, literally anything. I mean, I could not, I would not, life would be so hard if I did not have my wife. Um, I will tell you that my life would be super hard. So she got a job in the financial aid in college. Okay, so actually let's start from the beginning. So I started um, junior year, I signed up for the National Guard. Um, wasn't able to go to basic, so I had to go to RSP for a year, uh, every two weeks out of the month. So basically, you go, you do a PT test every month. Um, we started talking, started dating, right? So started dating. Um, anyways, summertime, I go to basic training. I had no doubt that she wouldn't cheat on me. I mean, that she would cheat on me. Yeah, or, yeah wouldn't cheat on me, sorry. Um, but I wrote letters to her every day. Every single day I wrote a letter to her. She actually kept all of them. Um, and so have someone you can trust, someone you can believe in, um, and someone who you truly love, you know, that you wouldn't cheat on, anything like that. So um, make sure she's the one. So I stayed I stayed with her, um, uh, got through basic. It was hard. Uh, she came to my, uh, my, those two celebrations that you have, um, what it was like blue ribbon award basic for infantry. And then there was like another, um, graduation. Um, so I go through all that. Um, then I get out and I start looking for a job. Uh, she didn't expect me to get a job right away. Um, and I told her I was going to take a year off of school while she was still in, she was a senior. She's a year younger. Um, took a year off of college and we joined together. Well, she went into the financial aid program and I will tell you what, you can ask her, I still don't even know, because every month you're supposed to log into your Montgomery to get your pay. She does that all for me because I still don't even know how to do it, and she figures it out. She went to financial aid, she figured out all my veteran stuff. Um, I think there was only one thing that I did was ISAC, but she basically found all my books, did all that. When I was on military leave in the summertime and I had like summer classes where I need to get my school stuff done, she did that all for me. Um, Another thing is she done some of my homework. Uh, she helped me through some of my math. Um, and I always go through her, through things. So I literally could not have done this without my wife. When I was in Japan, she was doing some of my homework. I mean, it's like one class that she could do. And I literally could not have done this without my wife. Um, she's been like a superhero in all this. She's taken so much stress off of my shoulders uh, through this. And... I owe everything to her. And I know she's probably watching this um, because she watches my videos. She supports me. Uh, I support her. And I will tell you what, she's done a lot more than just the regular full-time schooling because uh, she's helped me out a lot. Um, but like I said, every summer I'd be gone. Sometimes I'd miss school for like a month and she would go in and uh, help me with that. Uh, another thing is... Um, so balancing this, so school, obviously you should put first, that's your main priority. Now, it was hard for me to do a full-time job unless I had online classes, um, but it was still very hard because uh, you're focusing on work and stuff, especially when you're working over 40 hours a week. Um, so part-time definitely made it easier, especially because sometimes part-time you were working full-time, um, but the bare minimum of full-time usually. So I'd recommend... This is how I balance it. Have a wonderful wife or girlfriend who actually is there for you, supports you. Um, and then put school first and then um, part-time job and live either with your parents or live with your 
your fiance, but somewhere super cheap so you can still save money and you're not relying on uh, to live in this nice, you know, a nice place somewhere really cheap. Like our place is like, I think we spend like 300 bucks a month and then utilities is like a hundred combined. So somewhere really cheap where you can save up money um, and you guys can still live. And I have a washer and dryer, you know, you can find a place, um, have a car, something that's going to be more fuel efficient. Um, that's helped me out a lot because especially driving, I would drive 30 minutes to work, like 20 minutes to school. Um, and that's like there and back every day. So, um, that's something. And then expect to not have so much vacation time. Um, because not only are you leaving, you have school, you're working part-time and you're in the national guard. Um, and this is full-time students. Um, National Guard. So, like I said, your work's going to basically think, all right, well, he's always off for school anyways. Um, or uh, he's gone through, he's been gone for like three to four days. So that counts as his off days, even though that's his work day. So expect to be working a lot, especially during those drill days, because you're going to come back and they're going to give you all those hours because they can't give their other employees more hours. So um, expect that. Uh, another thing is um, expect that uh you're gonna have to do stay up do homework or do homework at school unless you do a community college that's something i recommend it's gonna be a lot easier community colleges are super easy do your two years in um, because not only are the classes easier but it's usually a little bit it's usually the teachers are there for you more to help you and uh, it's a little more controlled and it's usually closer to uh, which is going to save a lot of money as well so do a community college, have cheap rent, have an awesome wife or girlfriend or someone who can help you balance your things and help you. Um, uh, when you can, your days off, try to enjoy them. Try to either go hiking or go um, to some kind of thing. It's not that we never went on vacation. It was just rare. We'd probably go like once or twice and I'll be like camping or something and I would only be for a few days. Never had like a week vacation together. Um, and let her, uh, let her go see her friends. If she has friends, let her, you know, and you'd be you still, but just expect to put school in front of video games too, um, to balance all this. Make, so make school a priority, you know, national guard work. And, um, and that's how you're going to do it really. Um, st studying, I never really had to do too much. But if you can find a job where you can do some homework there, um, definitely do that. That's going to be the easiest way to get through it. Um, but marriage um, or your girlfriend, uh, show them love every day. Show them that you appreciate them, whether that's taking them out, buying them gifts, or in just your actions alone by hugging them, you know, kissing them every day, telling them you love them uh laugh with them have a good good mixture with them plan everything with them um, my biggest thing is communication is a huge thing and uh my biggest thing is sometimes i don't say what i plan on the day because i'm kind of go with the flow kind of guy but communication is a good thing uh set plans and um every now and then try to go out take her somewhere whether it's hiking um anything that she really likes and that you like together uh, go do when you can show that appreciation have a good time love um, and you'll get through it now it's a lot easier now that I'm done with schooling she still has two more years uh, to go in uh, but just be there for her and help her through anything she can that you can um, and working out you have to find time to work out so either get her interested in working out with you uh, during those times or just set the score straight. I mean, it's a lot easier when she can work out or try to balance your life, set time management, and when you want to go work out um, when she's work working or um, find time to uh, work out at home maybe uh, so that you can do it really quick and then uh, have time with her. As long as you're doing your PT stuff, um, you'll be fine. So that's things to consider. Uh, another thing is, have her understand you can't be going out to eat all the time and getting fat because that's going to ruin your PT stuff. So try to make stuff more at home, whether it's grilling or cooking, and save money that way as well. It's going to save time and money. It really does. 
because you're not going to be driving out to go get the food. You're just going to be home, make it real quick while you're watching your TV or something. Uh, that's what I do. I'll cook, watch The Office, and that'll kind of be my downtime, eat, and then get doing whatever else I have to do. Um, but that's how I kind of balance it is I have a wonderful wife. You know, make sure school's priority, work part-time um, so that when you're working part-time, you have time for the National Guard, you have time for your wife, you have time for your girlfriend, uh, As on top of that with your school. And finding a job that allows you to do school work there uh, is going to help out a lot. Have a cheaper rent place if you're there or live with your parents, and hopefully they have an uh, arrangement where as long as you're at school, you're not paying as much. And save your money. Don't go wasting it so that you're not struggling and have to work more. Try to be more safe on your money. Financially is a big thing. So, but other than that, there's not too much more I can, this is just my experience, my life. Um, but now that I'm done with school, now I'm just balancing work in the National Guard. And I'll tell you, it's tough, guys. It really is. And that's why I say, if you're really going to join, be very committed to it. Um, and, and with your wife, too, because she's going to be mad, too when they don't tell they're like the, there's gonna be times where they don't tell you till like an hour before the ball you know what time to be there and what to dress and stuff you know stuff like that like that's just how life is gonna be and there's it's gonna be just chaotic so um as long as you can stay cool tempered and balanced through it you'll be good time management's a big one for everything so be very time oriented on what you gotta do and be committed to doing that uh caffeine is going to be a big thing and uh, planning out your stuff. So that's about it, guys, for this video. I know it's not as uh, informational as I probably could have made it, but uh, I just wanted to get that out there, kind of what I've gone through, stuff like that, to uh, make it a little bit easier. So, um, by the way, if you do hear that sound, because I know this thing is kind of sensitive, this mic, it is our fish. We got some fishes here um, that's supposed to be making these plants that I still haven't seen grown yet, maybe. No, still nothing, but it's just our fish, fish tank, pretty cool. I got it from a, a wedding gift, so. All right guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more content.